Mitch, you made your Bristol Rugby debut back in 2010 in the BNI Cup and it all comes to an end this Saturday against Newcastle. How emotional is that going to be for you? Yeah, it'd be quite emotional. Obviously, Bristol means a lot to me as a club. Um, hopefully, I can keep the tears in and, uh, until after the game, but you know, we're all looking forward to it. All the team's looking forward to it and we're we'll looking forward to um, getting off on high. So. How important is it for you personally to end that final game in a Bristol shirt with a good performance and with a with a good team performance and a victory? Oh, massive, you know, I think we owe it to ourselves and, and the fans. They've come in numbers every week. Um, they're there supporting us. So I think we owe it to them more than anything to try and get the win and try and, and try and obviously finish on a high. But we know how hard Newcastle's going to be. We, we need to respect them. And, and it was it was a close match up there when we played them before. So we know they're going to come down with some real class, but we're ready for it. We've never given up, even the confirmed relegation a couple of weeks ago. You know, we, we've never given up as a team. We've always tried fighting for each other. Um, and you know, you could tell from the back end of the performances where we we haven't given up and we put in the performances right to the 80th minute. Um, and we've been unlucky on some some performances, but. Like I said, we're never going to give up and we're always going to fight to the end, whatever happens, um, so we can do ourselves proud and, and, and the supporters proud. You're someone who's flourished in the Premiership this season. What have you taken from your experience this season? Um, it's been tough, obviously, um, but you know, I've, as a, being a young player, I've learned so much um, from the players I've played with, from the players I've played against, um, how people conduct themselves, so I'm just going to absorb all that and hopefully take that into the next couple of years. Just a message to the supporters that have backed you for a number of years. I mean, they'll mean a lot to you even after you leave the club, won't they? Yeah, they, they mean loads to me. You know, they come in numbers every single week, like I said. Um, sometimes more than natural home support. So it's, they're so loud on the pitch, off the pitch. Uh, they love their cider, which is brilliant for me. Um, but, you know, they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. No, I can, I owe it, we owe it all to them. And seven years on after coming through the academy, you're no longer running away from me and Tommy with the camera. You're media savvy <laughs> yeah. these days, mate. Yeah. You're, uh, this is a future for you. Yeah, you know, I try to hide as much as I can. You know, <laughs> I've got a face for a radio. So. <laughs>